Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and guess what? It is my favorites of the month, with an S. I apologize, I apologize. I have not done one for September, I have not done one for October, and we are now at the end of November. And I kid y'all not, it is really hard to keep up with these favorites. Like, I just like blink my eyes, turn my head, and next thing you know, the month is over. So before we get started on this video, and I do have some goodies, you guys, and I have quite a few foundations, just saying. I do want to tell you some of the things that I'm rocking before we get into this video, just to cover all bases. You feel me? So first, I am rocking this unit by Eva Wiggs. I will be doing a detailed video all about it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do some styling to it. I'm going to have some styling done because I don't want to leave it like this. The back of it, I actually want it to be like cut more bob-like, if that makes sense. I want it to, I don't even know what they call it when you taper it in the back or cut it in the back. Is it like A-line or something? I'm not really sure. I'm not a hairstylist, but I do want to have some stuff done to this unit. So number one, Eva's wigs. I will have the link in the description box if you guys are interested in checking that out. Next, the shirt that I'm rocking is actually from my very own t-shirt line. I've had this t-shirt line for a few years now, but I have not talked about it in a long time. So since I'm rocking it, you know, for all my new fan bam out there, I just wanna let you guys know that you can find this shirt and many, many others like tank tops, hoodies. Ooh, hoodies, and it's good for the winter time coming up. So hoodies, just t-shirt, like all kinds of shirts, okay? So I will have that in this video somewhere and I will have it in the description box and it's always in the description box, all right? So this just goes along with the whole Confidence is key, you know what I mean. Y'all know my song, right? So if you want a Confidence is key shirt, I got you, we here. The next thing I wanna talk about, my lippy. It is actually MAC Retro Matte Lippy in Self Portrait. This is like the third or fourth time I've rocked this since I've had it. This one's great. Now we can move on to the favorites, okay? So the one and only hair product I have for this video is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. Natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. That's what it's for. Now, if you guys have followed me for some time, then you know that I totally did a review on this whole line of products. I think excluding one. And this was maybe two years ago. So the reason that it's reappearing in a favorites is because you guys, and I told you guys this story, not super proud of it, but I had stopped deep conditioning my hair for a long time. I was actually using a leave-in conditioner with like oil and stuff like that as my deep conditioner. And over time, I noticed that my hair was definitely like feeling it. It wasn't happy, but I was like, you know what? When my hair was at its healthiest state, I was actually using this product. So I'm like, let's go back to it. And honestly, I have seen such an improvement in my hair and I'm so happy. I will have to do an update on my hair. I don't know, maybe in a couple months or something like that. I'll have to do an update because life is great. It's getting back on track with this product amongst you know me being consistent with taking care of it. I guess the next product I will talk about is the skincare item right here because this product right here, you guys, I've been using this for a few months, but I don't know, like, let me just tell y'all how I feel about it, all right? It is called the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Now this was sent to me by Clinique. I think they had like a little package going on or a beauty box or something like that. I'm not really sure what it was, but I did get it from them. And once I started using it, I was like, this stuff is great, it's very hydrating. Although I only use it at night because it is really hydrating. I don't even know if you can see that, but it feels so, so good. You guys know that I'm a stickler on my skincare regimen. I really do not deter from my skincare regimen, but I felt that I needed to add an eye cream to my regimen because, you know, sometimes I get creasing and then, you know, I have like fine lines and stuff and I really don't want it to get worse than that. I want to make sure that I'm doing maintenance on it, you know, as I age and stuff. And so I'm like, I need to incorporate an eye cream. So they sent it just in time. I tried a couple of others as well, but this one is definitely the best that I've used so far. However, because you know when I tell y'all stuff, like when I share information with you guys, I got to give you all the goods. I got to give you the pros, the cons, even though this is not a review, let's just call it a mini review, all right? So I started using this and then I was like, wait a minute, am I seeing like more lines under my eyes? Is this causing more lines? Am I tripping? What's going on? Because you know, when you start paying attention to stuff, I think you start seeing stuff that you didn't see before. So I stopped using it. Then I I started getting like major, major creasing. I'm serious, y'all, major creasing under my eye. Like I'm talking about, I would use the normal stuff that I was using before, or I was using the same stuff per the huge. And it was creasing like crazy. And I'm talking creasing like in an hour. So I'm like, you know what? <sighs> I'm gonna try using it again. Started using it again, guess what? 
it did not crease as much. I don't know what kind of relationship I want to say that we have, but I started back using it and I like it again. But I am paying attention to the lines to see if I notice a difference. Now, some of these products I actually have full reviews or full videos on, so I will let you know that. And as you guys know, I tell you guys when I do these videos that if you look at the eye that's in the corner of the screen right here and you click on it, you will see all of the videos that I link in this video just to make it convenient for you. Speaking of which, I have a video on these Becca powders and you guys, I'm in love. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. They are amazing, all right? This one right here is dark golden and that's what I used to contour with and I actually used it on today. Girl, I got Elvis Presley sideburns, OMG. I didn't know I did all that, but it is dark golden and I use that to contour with. And this one is warm honey and this is what I used to set my makeup with. I didn't use it today. I used, um, I used my BH Cosmetics powder. Y'all know how we get down with BH Cosmetics. I have certain powders that I use with certain foundations. And today I will tell you what foundation I'm rocking. Okay, I'll let you know that too. But today I use BH Cosmetics, but I definitely stand behind. If you guys watch the other video, you know what I'm talking about. I totally stand behind this product. These are the new Makeup Geek highlighters, and I have a video on the whole collection, you guys. But I cannot leave this one alone. This is a blaze, and the name is so fitting because it is blazing. Just saying. And yes, I am definitely rocking that. Y'all see that? Do y'all wait? Do you see what I'm giving you? I am addicted to this highlighter. The next product that I've been loving is, let me see, the concept of it is an oldie but goodie, but the color that I have is new for me. But it is a paint pot from MAC. I used to use Painterly, but I heard a whole lot about groundwork. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me try groundwork because it's a little more neutral and it's closer to my skin tone. So I've been using this as a base whenever I do my eyeshadow, not for a shadow look like this, because this is really neutral. I just have concealer underneath here. But whenever like I'm about to rock a look all day and I want the shadows to stay or I want them to really pop, and this is MAC, and and the reason that I said it's like an oldie but goodie is because like paint pots have been around like forever. Oh my God, I really hope this video is not super long, but if it is, I'm sorry y'all. Like it's been a long time since I told y'all about my favorites, so I apologize. But this is the It Bye Bye Pores Primer. I have a video about this where I compare it to, I think I compare it to the Becca Primer, you guys. And as you can see, like, oh my gosh, wait, when I squeeze it, it looks like it's all the way down here. Yeah, my tube is getting flimsy because I've been using this baby. It makes my makeup look flawless. I don't have it on today because I am doing a comparison slash review on another primer. And so I'll tell you about that later. Just stay tuned so you can see that video. Now, the only con that I have about this primer is it gives a cast after I apply it. So it does not dry clear. All right. If you are my skin tone, it is not going to dry clear. I repeat, it is not going to dry clear. That's the only con that I have. But other than that, I love it. It feels like a moisturizer. It totally has a pump. Hashtag winning, hashtag score. Now, like I don't, if y'all been rocking with me for a minute, then y'all know that I used to absolutely adore my Prep and Prime Mascara by MAC. But I was looking for a primer that was like less expensive, you know what I mean? That was a little more affordable because I wear lashes a lot when I do my makeup. But during the week when I don't rock lashes, I need like a base. Well, a base actually helps me when I rock a mascara because it just, it just makes my life, you know, so much better because I am a part of the itty bitty lash committee. So this item right here is a brush from Milani. I do believe you can get the brush separate. I actually got this brush. I think it was from Gem Beauty last year, but you guys, this brush right here, you know what I've been loving it for? Not for my crease, but for my inner corner. It fits like a glove. It is perfect. So yeah, I've been loving this brush. This next item, I didn't think I would like it. I did not think I would like it. And I like it. This is the original RCMA makeup and RCMA stands for Research Council of Makeup Artists. Okay. And it's no color powder. Now, when I first got this, I was like, I'm just going to buy it because a lot of people are saying that it's great. And you know, I like to try out stuff for myself, especially if a bunch of people are raving on it. I'm like, 
Hmm, let's just see, let's see about that. So I got it for like 10 bucks. You know how when your highlight is popping at the beginning of the day, then by the end of the day, it goes from popping to looking like greasy or shiny or oily looking. So I tried this on a brush and I just patted it. I dabbed lightly on my cheek and then it just totally took the shine away and it was really translucent and didn't make it look really white at all. So since I had that creasing situation, I was like, maybe my skin is getting used to the Ben Nye. So let me switch it up a bit. Y'all ever do that? Like switch up stuff because your skin just stops reacting to a certain product so i'm like maybe it's just not responding anymore so i started using this right here and i was like you know what that's not bad i probably wouldn't bake with this but i started setting with this and i have used this maybe the last three times that i did my makeup including today so maybe four and um i'm like happy with it but don't like a dibba dabba do you the final products that i have are all foundations I told y'all it's been three months so I, I've been using a lot of different foundations and I've just been falling in love all over again so what I'm rocking today is the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation this is in the color 340 cappuccino and I've done a review all about this foundation already which was like over a year ago used it up then I ended up getting another bottle but then it came out with more shades so I found a shade that matches my skin even better and I'm totally stoked about it I have been rocking this a lot lately as well like probably more in November than anything because I just recently picked it up again but the only reason I wasn't rocking it before first off I have like 50,000 foundations so I kind of forget about them and then move on to another one but this one in particular the 355 that I had that was a deepest shade that they had and it just started to pull a little more orange on me the next foundation that I've been rocking that you guys have seen in my videos and probably on Instagram and snap and all that good stuff is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this color matches me perfectly as well. I do not have to mix nothing. And this is in the shade Chestnut. And I also have a whole collection slash swatch video on all of the foundations in their whole line of Born This Way. And I, I do believe that the deepest shade that they have, which is the next shade after this, is I want to say it is... I don't know if it's maple or mahogany, I cannot remember at the moment, but I will have that in the description box and I will also link that video in this video. But you guys, I like, this is amazing. Now it's definitely not a matte foundation. Mm -mm. Now this one is definitely matte. This one right here is not a matte foundation, but it gives you this awesome, flawless, finish and it just looks like healthy skin. I don't know how else to say it. This next foundation, I have a review on this foundation as well. It is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. I don't know what made me go back to this foundation a few, maybe like a month ago. I don't know what made me go back to it. Like I forgot all about it. And then I was like, <sighs> why? Why did I leave you? Like, what was I thinking? This is some good foundation, you guys. The color that I have is in tobacco. Now tobacco, to be honest, is not like my perfect match. I definitely have to use a more red tone powder when I use this foundation. I'll show it to you actually. You see, it's not quite my color, so I have to put a little bit of a red powder with it. Like I will use my Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder in 216. It just makes it blend seamlessly and it doesn't look like I have a mask on. But this is a great foundation. It is extreme full coverage. What is it called? Ultimate coverage? They ain't never lied. It's just an awesome foundation, which brings me into this next foundation which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I honestly think that they're kind of similar. They're both great. And actually this one is more red undertone. And so I end up having to use a more yellow tone powder when I wear this one. And so I will swatch this one too. See how that works. So with this one, I use a more yellow toned powder. So I think I'll use this with my, my BH Cosmetics powder works with this. And then I use my Black Radiance powder. And I'm trying to think what else I'll use. Probably a Becca powder. Oh, and with the Becca foundation, I can use a Becca powder as well. So there you go. But these are great foundations. They do not move. I do notice though that at the very, very end of the day, when my oil starts seeping through with the Urban Decay All Nighter, sometimes when I blot around my nose, it disturbs the foundation a little bit. But to be honest, I have rocked this Urban Decay foundation to an event. I'm gonna insert a picture. I never thought that I would not wear my Clinique foundation to an event and wear something else like that it would replace it. But Urban Decay, 
Y'all did that. Y'all made it. This one is in the shade 9.75. And like, I mean, the packaging is super fancy, right? But I love the fact that it has an airless pump. So you do not have to struggle to get all the product out of there. And I honestly think that the Becca does too. I'm not sure. And I don't even know how much foundation is in here, you guys, but it's one ounce. Yeah, one ounce. Oh, the only thing I don't like about this Urban Decay, the only thing, it expires in six months. Like, who does that? Like, where they do that at? So those are the products that I've been using over the last few months. I absolutely love these products and I miss doing these favorite videos. So I totally had to come and let y'all know, all right? If you like these favorites videos and you want me to continue doing them, then don't forget to thumbs up. I do have an empties video coming. I'm super stoked about it because my bag is like filled to the brim. I'm just saying. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for commenting, all that good stuff. I just want you to know that you are truly appreciated, all right? So you you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think bye thank you beauty confidence is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty i don't need no bands lexus or a range rover just give your girl a bomb see key beauty makeover confidence is key ladies you know what i mean or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek yeah we ain't playing games it's the seeky beauty yeah seeky beauty